Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My dear friends, uh, today, this morning, uh, May 8, Friday 2020, I wanted to continue our discussion uh, during this month of Ramadan. We actually began our preparation for Ramadan back on April 10th. We talked about uh, the upcoming Ramadan and the preparation for the Ramadan. We started off with uh, from the verse from the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had talked about Kutiba uh, alaykum siyama and then on April 17th, the following Friday, we talked about shelter in place uh, and we focused our reflection on Shahru Ramadan al lazi and then uh, on April 24th when we began this beautiful month of Ramadan uh, on that Friday, we talked about uh, Sharful Mu'min, which is the Tarawi prayer in the month of Ramadan. And last week on May 1st, we talked about uh, Nabi Sallallahu Prophet Sallallahu uh, the foresight in the month of Ramadan, where we reflected on the Battle of Badr and the early days of Muslims in Mecca and Medina. That was a beautiful, beautiful reflection we talked about. So here we are in the middle of Ramadan. Uh, by the grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we completed the first two weeks of Ramadan. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this immense blessing that He gave us the opportunity to go through the first 15 days of Tarawih prayer, of fasting and recitation of the Quran, and all that wonderful thing that we have done so far. When we ask and pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us and support us to continue to uh, fast and pray tarawih and read Quran and do good in this community and the world uh, over the next two weeks as we approach uh, Eid al-Fitr inshallah in two weeks. Um, so this morning, um, uh, this is actually our reflection number five. Uh, and in the month of Ramadan, uh, this is the third Juma. We are doing this. So uh, this this uh, Friday Juma uh, talk uh, is uh, is is on uh, the title. Uh, I would say is Husna wa Ziyada. Husna wa Ziyada. And we'll see what is this Husna wa Ziyada, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has actually talked about in the Quran. So inshallah we'll reflect on this uh, on this this morning inshallah and and we are going to reflect on few uh, hadith of Nabi Sallam based on the topic we have chosen this morning um, and um, and then inshallah we'll conclude so we want to begin this morning uh, with the uh, hadith of Nabi Sallam uh, and and reflect uh, the hadith actually is is a pretty beautiful and long hadith and I wanted to focus on only one element uh, of, of this hadith. Uh, and, and then uh, we'll reflect on a couple of ayahs from the Quran and inshallah um, we'll proceed from there. So uh, the hadith uh, uh, Ammar bin Yasir radiallahu an narrates that um, uh, from Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam there is actually this beautiful dua. Uh, but first, uh, Amar bin Yasser, on one day, uh, he came to the masjid uh, in Medina, Masjid Nabawi, and then he led, uh, he led the prayer. And, and, and the prayer was too short. And so he did that, and then he did the dhikr, and then left the masjid. So some people followed him and asked him, uh, Oh, Amar bin Yasser, why did you let this uh, prayer such a short prayer uh, and and he replied that although it was very short uh, when these people asked him he said the prayer was was pretty short but he made a special dua uh, in 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 it in the prayer and he noticed that that is the dua that i heard from nabi sallam and and so i'm happy uh, that I I mentioned this dua in um, in the prayer, and a dua begins uh, by Ahini ma alimta al hayata khairali, wa tawafani ida alimta wafata khairali, which uh, primarily uh, means uh, that 
that he that he's asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh Allah uh, give me life as long as life is good for me oh Allah give me life as long as it is good for me and give me death when you know that death is good for me uh, in other words give me death when the death is better for me so this is how the dua begins um, and part of the dua is also uh, Ammar bin Yasser uh, narrates from Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Allahumma bi idhnikal ghayb khudratik ala al qalq O oh Allah I ask you uh, uh, through your knowledge of unseen and your power over the creation uh, those, so in other words, he he's asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, uh, making the dua to, to give a life that is as long as it's good for me, and give me the death when you know that the death is good for me. Um, the dua also mentioned uh, where he narrates that, uh, Oh Allah, I ask you to instill in me the fear, both in public and private. And Oh Allah, uh, give me, uh, make me stay on truth when I'm happy or I'm angry. And also say that, O oh Allah, give me happiness that never finishes. And then the final part, at least the first part of the hadith is, O oh Allah, give me coolness of eye that never ceases. It's a beautiful hadith. And the main point of our reflection this morning is uh, this part of the dua where uh, Ammar bin Yasin is that from Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the dua um, part of the dua is that Allahumma inni as'aluka lazzatan nazari ila wajhik wa shawkha ila riqaiq Allahumma inni as'aluka lazzatan nazari ila wajhik wa shawkha ila riqaiq uh, which is O oh Allah I ask uh, for the sweetness of looking at your face O oh Allah, I asking, I'm asking for the sweetness of looking at your face and an eagerness to be with you and meet up with you. Uh, the word lazat uh, and nazari, the lazza or the laziz, that the sweetness. Uh, this is a very passionate, a powerful and beautiful expression coming from the heart. Uh, as Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned, asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to give that opportunity to look at His face. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, sweetness of looking at your face and eagerness to be with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and, and looking forward to meeting Him. Um, and there is also this, so this is the main uh, focus of our reflection this morning and I wanted to elaborate on on this point of lazzat uh, nazara ila wajhik in through uh, one of the hadiths uh, that Suhaib rumi reports the Nabi Sallallahu has said that uh, when the people of Jannah or the paradise when they enter um, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is will ask them would you like anything more? Allah is asking the people who are in Jannah, would you like anything more? And they will say, have you not brightened our face? Have you not admitted us into this beautiful paradise? And you saved us from hellfire? So the people in Jannah is replying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then when, so when Allah asks these two, three questions, then, then, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to lift the will, Allah is going to lift the will for yakshiful hijaba, that Allah will lift the will, and then they will see that the, the nur or, or the light is is no nothing is more noble than looking at that beautiful uh, light uh, of Allah subhanahu wa taala, um, and and you know it it, it actually is nothing more beloved. To them, than than looking at the uh, at the Lord at their Lord and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Then the Prophet uh, recited this verse, as Ammar bin Yasser has has narrated this, uh, uh, that uh, and this verse is mentioned in Surah Yunus, uh, chapter ten, verse number twenty six, 
where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَ وَزِيَادَةً Al-Husna wa Ziyada, which is the title of, of our uh, reflection this morning. Wala yarhu wujuhahum fataru wala dilla ulaika ashabul janna hum fiha khalidun. Let me just repeat again. Lilladina ahsanu al-Husna wa Ziyada. Wala yarhu wujuhahum fataru wala dilla ulaika ashabul janna hum fiha khalidun. In Surah Al Yunus. Uh, this beautiful expression which is mentioned here, Al Husna wa Ziyada. So, what is this Husna wa Ziyada? Um, uh, so, when we look at the translation of this ayah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, For them who have done good uh, is the best reward, and something extra, Husna wa Ziyada. No darkness will cover their face, nor humiliation. Those are the companions of paradise or Jannah. They will abide in there eternally forever. So, Nabi Sallam actually uh, narrates uh, this tafsir of Husna wa Ziyada, which is, you know, when you are in Jannah, you have all the things available to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has saved you from hellfire and you are in Jannah. And so now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking people in Jannah what else you want, what more you want. So so when Allah lifts the veil, that is the ziyada, husn of ziyada, uh, something extra as the ayah mentioned, which is the um, the nur or the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the people in Jannah will see. In fact, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one night he was in the masjid and then when he finished prayer, he looked at the sky and he saw this beautiful moon, the full moon. And, and, he, and he gathers and Sahaba, his companions, um, and, then, and then he pointed at uh, the moon and, said, and asked the Sahaba, his companion, that are you having any trouble? Are you trying, struggling or fighting to see this moon? Uh, his companion said, "No, Ya Rasulullah, we, you know, you are looking at the moon, and, and we are all looking at the moon. There is no issues or problems here." And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said precisely that every single person in the Jannah, inshallah, is going to look at Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's face. But he also mentioned immediately he connected looking at the face of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. To the worship, to our ibadah, particularly he mentioned that uh, that the, the looking at the seeing at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Fajr prayer and the Asr prayer. So he pointed out the importance and the value, particularly although all the prayers are important, um, but he connected to seeing the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Fajr prayer and the Asr prayer. My dear friends, you know, we are in the month of Ramadan. Half of the Ramadan is gone. Many of us, uh, perhaps, uh, you know, after 15 days of Tarawi and fasting and Quran and so many things we are doing, there is perhaps maybe a bit of fatigue some of us are feeling. Uh, although we are sheltered in place, most of us are still home. This is the almost the end of month, second month. We are all home, um, and we are asking and praying Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in this beautiful month of Ramadan to lift this pandemic, this coronavirus, uh, open our masajis and Islamic centers, uh, and 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 the millions of people here in the United States. They're talking about over thirty million people, or perhaps forty million now who have lost their jobs, their daily wages, their earnings. So we are going through tremendous, many of us are going through tremendous hardships. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide the ease to, to our community and everybody around us here in California and all over the world. So, so in this month, at this midpoint, there might be some element of, of fatigue. But precisely, this is what Nabi Sallam looking at the moon, connecting the Sahaba, reminding them of the the worship and remembering Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and the reward is Jannah 
in looking at the face of of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al husna wa ziyada this is i mean what else we want uh, from this life uh, inshallah when we get to that point so it is important for us to continue to tighten the belt and stay focused over the next two weeks of ramadan with tarawih with fasting uh, tilawah of the quran and 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 doing uh, charity and many good things many of us are doing in our community mashallah um, and nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has also encouraged uh, us to continue to do the good deeds uh, again to remember the goal to remember to the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has talked about captured this this element of husna wa ziyada uh, of his face looking at the face potentially uh, inshallah uh, many of us inshallah um, as Muslims looking at the face so Allah has mentioned this uh, in the Quran, a number of places, يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَ وَجْهَ اللَّهِ وَالَّذِينَ سَبَرُوا إِبْتِغَى وُجُوا رَبُّهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, many of us also remember this surah where this ayah talks about uh, the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَجُوهِ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ نَاظِرًا إِلَى رَبِّهِ نَاظِرًا Again, um, uh, looking at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the question becomes, how much at what quantity how much time uh, each one of us inshallah will get a chance to look at the face that would depend although people in jannah are going to look at the highest reward of face of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but how long they're going to continue to uh, be blessed by looking at the face of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. that quantity depends on the uh, levels of uh, the people in Jannah, Jannatul A'la, Jannatul Firdaus, uh, depending on the level, insha'Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also describes uh, about uh, his face that the Muslims are going to see in in actually in Surah Rahman, um, in particularly um, uh, in one ayah, uh, again Surah Rahman, uh, remember chapter 78, verse number 27. Uh, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Kullu man alayha fan wa yabqa wajhu rabbika dhul jalali wal ikram that nothing will remain except the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everything is, is fan is, is going to, to to complete and finish except wa yabqa wajhu rabbika dhul jalali wal ikram jalal actually uh, if you think about this the way it's translated is the magnificent or magnificence. Uh, Al-Ikram is the nobility. So the magnificence and, and the nobility uh, is only the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, we are all going to see. Um, and, and Musa alayhi salam, if you look at the history of, of uh, the prophets, Musa alayhi salam actually asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to to look at his face and Allah replied saying that this is not possible in this life told Musa alayhi salam that he is going to see only in in the afterlife um, and that brings me to this hadith of Abu Dhar Ghaffari um, an, where he asked Nabi sallam that did you see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Nabi sallam went uh, Israel Miraj um, the, the journey that he went and uh, to the heavens, Abu Zar Ghaffari said, he's asking Nabi Sallallahu Hal ra'ayta rabbuk? Um, did you see Allah? Did you see your Lord? And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Noor an-na'ara. Noor an-na'ara. Um, he, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, How could I see him? There was light everywhere. So when he went up there to meet Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, Isra al Miraj, He's, he's, he's replying to Abu Dhar Ghaffari radiallahu anh, that, he, that all he saw was the light everywhere. Um, and what is this light uh, that Allah has taken? Allah has, uh, so Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described, Allah has taken the hijab uh, nur hij, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said this hijab nur that Allah has taken hijab. You know, for most of us, our understanding hijab is, you know, you cover the beauty. Uh, you cover the face, especially our sisters, right? Uh, but for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hijab nur, the hijab itself is beauty. 
what is inside behind that uh, it's just amazing uh, it, it's uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, knows all of that so so uh, so when he uh, when 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 we think of the hijab and nur Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that he talks about the the rays of light that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's face. So so he said if this is this is becomes available, the whole creation will be destroyed. So powerful, uh, mashallah. So what he saw was the light everywhere. Uh, so, my dear friends, as we as we conclude our reflection, this this beautiful the third Juma of of Ramadan, uh, that that the the vision, the divine vision or the ruya is the ultimate goal of all of us. Inshallah, to to inshallah to get to Jannah and see the see the face of of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reminded us whoever loves to meet Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves to meet that person um, you know you know when we as members of the family spouses and, and brothers and sisters and relatives and friends when we go on a vacation or away we miss them and Allah is, is saying that if you wish to meet me I am also looking forward to to seeing you, um, and finally, my friends, um, as we conclude, uh, there are number of beautiful names uh, that are mentioned or attributed to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and one of that beautiful name, his name, uh, is because we are talking about the face of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, uh, Husna Wa Ziyada, uh, is one of that name is As Salam. Uh, as salam is from the one from whom the peace comes and and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls his religion al-islam which is all we are all part of and he calls his reward the jannah daru salam um, so so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is as salam our religion is islam and inshallah we are heading towards daru salam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, actually one of the Sahabi uh, narrates uh, none other than Abdullah Ibn Salam. He said when he saw for the first time Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Afshid Salam, spread Salam. Uh, and people who spread Salam, inshallah, they are going to enter Jannah. Um, so, so, in other words, when these when when muslims and when, inshallah all of us when we enter jannah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala salamun qawmun rabbur rahim salamun qawmun rabbur rahim that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to welcome and greet us uh, with uh, with the peace and and the sakina so as a reminder in this month of ramadan we are in the presence uh, of as salam because uh, we belong to Al-Islam and we are heading towards Darus Salam, inshallah, which is the Jannah. Uh, we ask and pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to give us the wisdom and the tawfiq to benefit as much as possible from the remaining 15 days of Ramadan. Uh, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again to to remove this pandemic and open our masajid and islamic centers uh, our businesses uh, our our daily wages and 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 give people of the world people here in california united states uh, the means to earn and live a life of dignity and honor uh, and and finally uh, we ask all of us, inshallah, to to pray uh, to for each other, and and inshallah continue to be in the presence of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.